Hello students, in the previous video we studied about different types of pigments that is chlorophyll pigments and carotenoid pigments. In this video I am going to explain about absorption spectrum and action spectrum. Okay, let's start with absorption spectrum. Okay, so absorption spectrum is the graphical representation of the degree and portion of different wavelengths of sunlight absorbed by different pigments that is chlorophyll A, B and carotenoids. Okay, that is called absorption spectrum. So, it is graphical representation of graphical representation. of the degree and portion of different wavelengths of sunlight sunlight absorbed by pigments pigments. This is called as absorption spectrum. So what we are studying here, we are studying about absorption of different wavelengths of sunlight by different pigments and that we are studying with the help of graph. So graphical representation of degree and portion of different wavelengths of sunlight absorbed by different pigments is called as uh, this absorption spectrum. Okay, this absorption spectrum becomes the fingerprint of pigments. So why it is called fingerprints or fingerprint of uh, pigments because it helps in identification of pigments. It helps in identification of pigments. Now let's make a graph to study the absorption of different wavelengths of sunlight by these pigments. Okay. So on x-axis I am taking wavelength of light, different wavelengths of sunlight. wavelength of light actually the sunlight that is incident light incoming sunlight consists of three portions in it that is uv rays ultraviolet rays visible rays and infrared rays among these three portions of sunlight plants absorb visible light for the activity of photosynthesis to perform photosynthesis hence this visible light is called as photosynthetically active radiation so with the visible light exists uh, this uh, the range remains between 400 to 700 nanometers wavelength of sunlight so this 400 to 700 nanometers wavelength of sunlight which is absorbed by green plants to perform the process of photosynthesis is called as photosynthetically active radiation so that is par photosynthetically active radiation par ranges between 400 to 700 nanometers 700 nanometers Okay, so on x-axis I am taking, we are taking the wavelength of light that is 400, 500, 600, 700. Right, on y-axis I am taking absorption, we are taking absorption of, rate of absorption of light. Rate of absorption is taken on y-axis. Right, now let's study the wavelengths, different wavelengths absorbed by different pigments that is chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B and carotenoids. So chlorophyll A is blue-green in color. Let's study chlorophyll A first. Chlorophyll A is blue green in color. Blue green in color. Right. Okay, so this chlorophyll A is showing 
more absorption, maximum absorption in both blue region and red region. And in blue region, it is showing maximum absorption at 435 nanometers wavelength. In red region, it is showing maximum absorption at 673 nanometers wavelength. Next, coming to chlorophyll B. So, chlorophyll B is yellow green in color. We already studied yellow green in color. Right. So, this chlorophyll B is also showing maximum more absorption in blue region and red region of light. Red region of light. In blue region, it, sh it is showing absorption maxima at 435 nanometers wavelength of light. Whereas, uh, in red region, it is showing absorption maxima at 642 nanometers wavelength of light. So, this is about chlorophyll B. Next coming to carotenoids. Carotenoids. Carotenoids are orange to yellow colored pigments. Right. So, these carotenoids are showing maximum absorption, absorption maxima at two peaks that is 444 nanometers wavelength of sunlight and 465 nanometers wavelength of sunlight. So, this is about carotenoids. Right. So, among all regions of wavelength, all regions of the sunlight, uh, this chlorophyll A and B are showing more and more absorption in blue region and red region. So, this is blue region, this is red region. Among blue and red regions also, both chlorophyll A and B are showing more absorption in blue region than in red region. Okay. So, if we observe this blue region alone, in this blue region, among chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, chlorophyll B is showing maximum absorption, more absorption than chlorophyll A. Now, coming to red region. In red region alone, among chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, chlorophyll A is showing more absorption, maximum absorption than chlorophyll B. So, this is all about the absorption spectrum. Now, let's study action spectrum. So, I hope this uh, absorption spectrum is very clear to you. I just want to give a quick recap. So, absorption spectrum is nothing but it is a graphical representation of degree and portion of different wavelengths of sunlight absorbed by different pigments that is chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B and carotenoids because these are the pigments which are present in higher plants which are involved in performing photosynthesis. Right. So, sunlight, incident light consists of three portions, ultra UV, light, UV rays, then uh, visible rays and infrared rays. Among these rays, visible rays are absorbed by green plants for the process of photosynthesis. So, that range of sunlight that is 400 to nanometers wavelength of sunlight is called as photosynthetically active radiation which is absorbed by green plants to perform the photosynthetic activity. Next coming to, so now let's study the graphical representation of absorption of different wavelengths of sunlight by different pigments that is chlorophyll A, B and carotenoids. So on x-axis wavelength of light is taken that is 400 nanometers, 500, 600 and 700 nanometers. On, on y-axis rate of absorption is taken, rate of absorption of light is taken. So, here chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll A is blue green in color. Chlorophyll A is showing more absorption in blue region and red region. Among blue region and red region, it is showing more absorption in blue region. Okay. Uh, next, chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll B is also showing more absorption in both blue region and red region. Among blue and red region, it is showing more absorption in blue region only. Next, in blue region alone, chlorophyll B shows more absorption than chlorophyll A. And even red, in red region alone, chlorophyll A shows more absorption than B. 
Now coming to carotenoids. These are showing maximum absorption, absorption maxima at 444 nanometers and 465 nanometers wavelength of sunlight. So this is all about absorption spectrum. So after absorption, what these pigments will do, they are involved in performing an action. Now what is that action? That action is photosynthetic action. So now let's study about action spectrum. Let's study the action spectrum now. So action spectrum is nothing but it is a graphical representation of effectiveness. Effectiveness of different wavelengths of sunlight absorbed by pigments to perform an action. What is that action here? That action is photosynthesis. Okay. So, it is a graphical representation. Graphical representation of graphical representation of effectiveness. Effectiveness of, of the effectiveness of different wavelengths of sunlight. Different wavelengths of sunlight absorbed by pigments to perform action wavelengths of sunlight absorbed by pigments to perform an action. To perform an action is called as an action. What is that action here? Photosynthesis. That is called as action spectrum. Okay, the first action spectrum is given by T. W. Engelmann, a scientist T. W. Engelmann. Now let's study the first action spectrum which is given by T. W. Engelmann. So he has given the first action spectrum by conducting experiments on uh, green alga, that is filamentous green alga, spirogyra and cladophora. So he conducted experiments on green alga, T. W. Engelmann. Engelman conducted experiments on filamentous green alga that is spirogyra and the cladophora. Along with spirogyra or along with cladophora, he used aerobic bacteria, cladophora. Along with spirogyra or along with cladophora, he also used aerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria while conducting his experiments okay let's study about his experiments about the experiments conducted by this engelman so this is filamentous green alga that is uh, spirogyra this is fil filamentous green alga spirogyra right so this spirogyra he placed in this he placed this spirogyra in aerobic bacterial suspension. So this is the aerobic bacterial suspension. Now this he allowed this pyrogyra to be, he illuminated this pyrogyra to the sunlight, different wavelengths of sunlight. Let's see how he illuminated. Illumination is nothing but exposed. Exposed this pyrogyra, filamentous green alga to different wavelengths of sunlight. So let's see how. So this is the incoming light, incoming sunlight, sunlight and by using a prism, he split it, the sunlight. He allowed this incoming sunlight to pass through the prism so that the sunlight has split into its spectral components. What are its spectral components with GR? That is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. So this sunlight has split into its spectral component all the seven spectral components like this all the seven spectral components which is falling on the surface of this pyrogyra 
So after some time, what happens after absorption of this uh, different wavelengths of sunlight, this pyrovera performs the action of photosynthesis. After performing photosynthesis, what will be released? The photosynthetic byproduct that is oxygen. Oxygen will be released from the surface of this spirogyra. So due to the release of oxygen, what happens? These aerobic bacteria come and accumulate on the surface of this. They get accumulated. They get accumulated on the surface of the spirogyra due to the release of oxygen. So these are the aerobic bacteria which are accumulated all over the surface of this uh, Spirogyra, they are getting accumulated all over the surface of uh, spirogyra. That means oxygen is released through all over the surface of the spirogyra. And the accumulation is more in blue region and in red region. Accumulation of this aerobic bacteria is more in blue region and in red region than other regions. In red region also, this accumulation of aerobic bacteria is more because of the release of more amount of oxygen in these two regions. Two regions. So with this, he found, he discovered that wherever the amount of oxygen is release is more, there the rate of photosynthesis is more. So this is action spectrum. I just repeat. So T. W. Angelman conducted his experiments to explain the action spectrum to discover the action spectrum on Spirogyra or uh, and Cladophora which are filamentous blue-green alga along with this blue-green alga that is either Spirogyra or Cladophora he also used aerobic bacteria. Now this is the filamentous blue-green alga sorry green alga that is Spirogyra and he placed this Spirogyra in aerobic bacterial suspension and he allowed this Spirogyra to be illuminated with different spectral components of incoming sunlight. And he allowed this sunlight to pass through his prism so that this sunlight splits into its spectral components that is Vigia, Violet, all these colors, all these regions of uh, sunlight, visible light and falls on the surface of this Spirogyra. So Spirogyra after absorption of different regions of sunlight, it performs photosynthesis. After performing photosynthesis, oxygen will be released on the surface of this spirogyra. As oxygen is released, these aerobic bacteria come and uh, get accumulated on the surface of this uh, spirogyra because they are aerobic bacteria. They need oxygen for their survival. So, all over the surface of this spirogyra, these uh, aerobic bacteria are getting accumulated. That means, in all regions of this uh, sunlight, photosynthesis is performed. But, the photosynthesis which is performed more and more is in blue region and red region because the accumulation of this aerobic bacteria is more in blue region and red region. So this is the action spectrum discovered by T.W. Ingeman. After discovery of this action spectrum, he compared this action spectrum with absorption spectrum. After comparison of this action spectrum and absorption spectrum, he found that wherever the absorption of light is more by chlorophyll A, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, the pigment chlorophyll A, there the release of oxygen is more and hence there, is, there the rate of photosynthesis is more. So with this experiment, finally he gave a statement that the principal pigment which is involved in performing photosynthesis is chlorophyll A. That is, which is involved in conversion of radiant form of energy into chemical form of energy is chlorophyll A. So, this is about action spectrum and absorption spectrum. And in the next video, I will be explaining about red drop and Emerson's enhancement effect with the help of Emerson's experiments. Thank you, students.